Welcome back to Skyrim Dragonborn DLC Walkthrough Part 24 Okay, so now Mirak is dead We can now loot the uh, dragon's dead body Let's go here Alright Let's take some items Okay, some gold, nice Okay, so let's wear Mirax clothes Alright Nice That's very nice Okay I'm the new dragon boy of Apokuripa Okay <laughs> Okay, so let's wear our uh, clothes Black guards armor, okay. Let's read this book. All right. And we're going to fast travel now to Solstein. All right. Let's see what happens to Skull Village since Mirab is dead. Okay. Let's find out. Okay, we're here now in Raven Rock. So let's make a save for now. Okay. Alright. So let's wear our uh, former gauntlets. Okay. Gloves. Okay. Gauntlets and boots. Okay. So let's enter the abandoned building now. Let's drop some items from our inventory. Okay. So we're here now. There's a lot of items here that I have already dropped so we're going to drop more items now so let's skip this portion because it took me some time to uh, arrange my inventory okay so let's uh, go to uh, Skull Village alright Let's go to Skull Village. Alright. Alright, we're here and let's talk to Freya. The daughter of Storm. Shall be the first skull to slay a dragon. That worthy. Where's Freya? My mom. May the Allmaker protect us from whatever dark power took control of the skull. A trade ship from Skyrim struck ice off the coast near the village, and the skull took in the surviving sailors. My mother fell in love with one of the sailors, my father, and eventually returned with him to Skyrim. Sadly, no. She died in Falkreath, where I was born. I came across a few of my mother's old things not long ago. Among them was a necklace that my father gave to her when they were married. I believe she would want it placed upon her tombstone in Falkreath. 
as a symbol of her undying love and the great sacrifice she made for it. If you find yourself in Falkreat, please give this amulet to the priest Runel and tell him that I sent you. He will understand. I don't have much to give in reward, but return to me when the task is done and I'll do what I can. Thank you, Skull friend. All right. It's another side quest. Oh, my mother used to say that I was born an angry child. It's true that my heart has always been restless, and fighting was the only way I could find peace. I was a soldier for a time, and then a mercenary, but I was never truly happy until I came here. Well, the dragons are a constant danger, but so far they have taken little interest in our village. Thank the Allmaker for that. But have they forced us to change the way we live our lives? No, not at all. They are but one more hardship, added to the many we already endure. Okay. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. Alright, there you are. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? It was Mirak who threatened Solstein. With him gone, her memora has been foiled once again. Tell me though, my father's death, was it necessary? Was there no other way to destroy Mirak? Then, it was the Allmaker's will, as he said. I know I should not doubt it, but it is good to hear all the same. Thank you. One more thing, Skull friend, if you will. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice, of warning? As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend, and so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down that path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. My father was a noble man, and a true Skull. I have been preparing for it all my life. There is no question that I'm ready, but... It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but... This is a path I never chose. I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even a village chieftain. <laughs> not if Fanari has anything to say about it. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's all right. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. Join you? You mean leave the village to journey with you and fight at your side? Well, I'm flattered, but the village is my home. It's very rare for one of the Skull to leave, and I have responsibilities here. Hmm, you're right. I suppose the others can get by without me for a while. Very well. If you need my help, seek me out here in the village. It was Skaf the Giant, our former chieftain, who taught me the ways of battle. He was a great bear of a man, and a fearsome warrior. I used to be terrified of him when I was a little girl. I was a restless and angry child, and Skaf taught me swordplay, so that I could, as he used to say, Put that fire to good use. 
He was a great man, and a good leader. I miss him dearly. She died when I was very young. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather, and the threats in the south, even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. We are bound to this land, like a great pine with roots that run as deep as the tree is tall. I know it must seem strange to you, but for us, the thought of leaving our village is equally strange. The land and the skull are one. There is no other way to say it. Farewell, okay, that's it. Thank you for watching Dragonborn and... See you in my next videos and please do subscribe to my channel. Alright? See you later and peace.